And now through the power of editing, all of the CSS and HTML is done. So you can see we made it all the way to the footer and hooked everything up. Okay, so before I get going into uh, templating, uh, I wanted to take just a minute and show you a little bit more about Elixir. Now you can learn a lot from it on Laracasts if you've ever subscribed to that or want a free trial. Uh, much more in depth, but at least in the context of a simple uh, you know, HTML or CSS and JavaScript implementation. <clears throat> um, we have SAS hooked up right out of the box. Uh, and I have some JavaScript here. So I've got some maps being loaded. And so we're gonna need to include this JavaScript file. So we're gonna go ahead and add script, scripts, and then we pass it uh, the file we want to be included. So we're gonna do JS, um, site.js and let's have it compiled to js uh, chimney.js okay and then for convenience we can turn on browser sync so I'll do browser sync and really just pass it um, a config which would be proxy saratoga.dev so if this all works we should be able to go watch, and there we go. So anytime, you know, if, you, if you're not familiar with um, browser sync, anytime you change a file uh, in your um, in your site, it will reload for you. And so I'll show you what that looks like. So uh, let's go down to variables, right? So if we change red to be like blue for some stupid reason, it'll reload automatically without having to refresh. The only thing I don't like about it is it does this injected thing. So I've actually like done this little battle before where I inspect it real fast. Ah. And rats missed it. Watch for, here we go, BS notify. So I would, <laughs> yeah, maybe I'm like super anal about this stuff, but uh, I would then come down into like uh, global and do display none. And there's probably some config thing to turn it off, but I've looked before and, oops. Yeah. Oh, well, you get the point, right? Um, I'm not gonna be using browser sync because we're kind of done CSS, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I'll turn that off. We'll close that out. Use a different tab and put red back. Okay. So that's basic uh, gulps with Elixir. So that's um, Elixir in a nutshell. You can do a lot more stuff like Webpack, and maybe we'll get into that. It depends uh, on some of these subpages if I get into any fancy JavaScript stuff with Vue. Literally haven't decided yet, but that's okay. And then the last thing before we move on is one decision that you'll need to make. And that's what you do with the compiled files uh, here with Gulp. So, all the SAS is being compiled to a CSS file, and we're taking a source file for your JavaScript and compiling that down. So in production, you would have minified files for everything. In development, uh, you've got them uh, maxified, that's not really a word, uglified, right? Uh, with um, source maps to help you uh, dive in and debug. So um, I like to compile my assets on the server. If I keep my site uh, as, as lightweight as possible, that uh, that gulp event is like a second at tops. And that lets me not have to worry about uh, collisions with multiple people working on CSS and JavaScript in a single repo. So I will do here um, what I would do normally. So I'm gonna come into my git ignore file. And um, actually, by the way, uh, the, that annoying auto fuzz, the auto fuzzy search thing, if I, just ignore this, I don't get the Statomic uh, files 
uh, even though they are in the repo. So anyway, just quick little thing. Site themes chimney uh, CSS chimney dot CSS and then JS. So if we ignore those and their map files here. Actually, we could just ignore the entire CSS folder and then, because we're gonna compile all of that. And I, I kind of do this blended thing where the JavaScript is in the same place where it gets compiled. Um, so it's really gonna be this and the .map file, which is not that much to worry about. So we're gonna do another git status, make sure, all right, cool. So I can commit all this stuff just so I can, in case I need to roll back to it for any particular reason. Okay, and cool. All right, uh, onwards. <laughs>